Hi, welcome to the fifth domain of CCSK. This domain is focused on data and information governance. You can expect two questions in the exam from this domain. So going by the CSA terminology, this is the definition of the information governance. Uh, usage of information and data need to comply with the organization policies, standards and strategy that includes the objectives, uh, regulations and contracts. The information uh, governance has different aspects in the uh, in the governance overall. Um, the information is the real value to any organization uh, which must be protected with the help of security controls. Apply some security mechanisms to protect that. Um, it is unlike uh, traditional IT where everything was inside the data center when the cloud has different challenges uh, here and there must be some specific strategy uh, set for elasticity, multi-tenancy, physical and logical architecture. Also the information governance uh, include uh, the organizational structure and control to handle the information. So cloud impact on the information governance and data uh, governance, um, especially in terms of the multi-tenancy and the shared security responsibilities where we have very thin line between ownership and custodianship. Let's see what are these. So multi-tenancy uh, is a very complicated uh, security implications um, on the infrastructure. Uh, when the data is stored in the cloud, um, especially the public cloud, it is um, stored on the shared infrastructure with others um, and probably the untrusted tenants. Um, even in the uh, private cloud environment, it is stored and managed on the infrastructure that's shared across the different business units, which likely to have different governance needs. Um, so it has a multi tenancy has impacts in public as well as in private cloud both. Shared responsibility um, data is now more likely to be owned and managed by the different teams or even the organization. So it must be clear that who is uh, owner and who is custodian for that data. A very thin line uh, between the ownership and the custodianship. Uh, it depends on law, uh, standards and the policies, not very much clear, uh, but um, if you host your data on the public cloud uh, provider, you should own it, uh, um, but that might again depends on the contracts that you have signed as a provider and as a customer. Custodianship. Um, if a customer gives you um, uh, their personal information, for example, you do not have a right to own it. You are merely the custodian for that. And that's, um, that means that you can only use that data in um, approved ways. For example, if the data given to you for the backup purpose, for archival purpose, you cannot process that, you cannot use that. Cloud provider and governance models. Um, so, uh, special uh, attention to these uh, cases, especially when we are um, uh, when we are specifying the governance for uh, information and data. Uh, basically the jurisdictional boundaries and data sovereignty um, we need to pay special attention uh, where is our data uh, and by the definition uh, of our contract of our uh, policies where this data is supposed to be uh, for example if your primary cloud is storing the data at one uh, region uh, then and if you are, if your organization is supposed to um, have some obligations of some regulations, then 
regulations of localization uh, for example then you cannot uh, uh, keep the secondary backup uh, cloud uh, across the border so you need to have uh, the backup cloud as well in the same country compliance regulations and privacy policies all of these may be impacted by the uh, cloud due to the combination of third party provider and the jurisdictional changes for example your customer agreement may not allow you to share or use data on the cloud provider uh, or may have certain security requirement for example encryption so um, need to take care of that destruction and re <coughs> removal of data this ties to the technical capabilities of the cloud platform uh, one question must be asked uh, to the providers uh, can you ensure the destruction and removal of the data in accordance with policy very important to ensure that data is destroyed after the cycle and removed from the uh, from the shared media cloud information governance uh, domains um, uh, these are the main areas where uh, hosting in the cloud affect uh, the data governance so very important classification is, is something uh, where we should classify our data um, maybe because uh, it, it may have uh, different uh, implications um, so there are three different areas under the classification one is the user based and another is the content based and third one is the context based so in, in user based uh, is user is supposed to choose uh, the classification for example when you send the email with some kind of content then the users is supposed to choose uh, what is the severity level what is the classification of this information that I'm sending content level is um, is supposed to be uh, inspected or uh, to be checked by the engine where they uh, search for the specific uh, secrets and based on uh, based on the results they mark that data into the classified uh, categories context based it is based on locations or uh, on some roles for example if the data is being generated uh, within the sensitive data centers then uh, it is supposed to mark that data accordingly or if the data is is generated by some uh, sensitive roles like security administrator then uh, the that data is supposed to be marked accordingly The information uh, management policies, uh, these ties to the classification and cloud uh, needs to be added if you have them. Um, different SPI layers, uh, security as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. Um, these are supposed to have a different um, views on uh, at each layer of, uh, of the service model in accordance with the uh, policies location and jurisdiction policies uh, these are very direct cloud implications any um, outside hosting must comply with the local um, you know locational and uh, jurisdictional requirement if you have local regulation and uh, which says the localization is mandatory then you need to take care of that uh, for the information uh, that you're storing understand the local internal policies can be uh, changed for cloud computing but legal requirements are hard line you cannot change uh, the legal requirements and you cannot uh, even if you modify your organization policies although those are not supposed to be if you uh, if your organization is you know have some kind of obligations to adhere to those authorization is uh, the cloud computing that requires minimal changes to authorizations uh, but see the data uh, security life cycle to understand if the cloud impacts same uh, for the ownership um, your organization who is collecting the data is 
uh, supposed to be the owner of that data and supposed to apply the security controls uh, and uh, will remain responsible and liable for any breaches. Custodianship can be um, lies with the cloud provider because they are the one holding that data. Um, privacy is a sum of regulatory requirements, contractual obligations and commitment to the customers. Contractual controls. It is the legal tool for uh, extending the government requirements into the third party like a cloud provider. Um, so very important. Uh, uh, it is a key tool um, where whatever you want to comply, whatever uh, obligations you want to put in uh, on your provider, then those should be part of the contract. Security controls um, are the tools to implement data governance. They change significantly in the cloud computing. Um, because where the data is and how it is stored and what um, what is the sensitivity of the data so accordingly the security controls uh, are supposed to be applied data security life cycle so different uh, stages in the data uh, life cycle where we we have uh, create uh, means the, the generation of the the content or uh, we can say alteration, updation, modification of the existing content falls under the, uh, the create category. Store is uh, the act of committing the digital content to some sort of a storage repository. Um, usage, data is viewed, processed, otherwise uh, used in some kind of activity is, is falls in the category of the usage. Share, um, you're uh, allowing someone to access that data is, is sharing. Archive is for the backup purpose. Destroy is if you don't need that data anymore, uh, you're migrating from one cloud to another cloud. So there can be a number of purposes when we need uh, the, the destruction of the data. Um, the, the, the important point here is that uh, you do not have physical control over the cloud. So it is very important to understand that uh, and to agree with, um, uh, with the cloud provider that uh, at the end of the data life cycle, how it is going to be destroyed. Um, the very important terminology um, here in the cloud is crypto shredding so in this uh, data uh, whatever data we want to destroy we just encrypt that data with the key which we can destroy and data remains uh, encrypted is useless for anyone it depends on the organization policy also uh, because some organization may have internal policy like to uh, to destroy that data to encrypt that data multiple times with the different keys and uh, then destroy those keys or a single time sometimes function actors and controls uh, different functions here um, read process and store actors can be person application and system or process so uh, not not uh, everyone can access uh, the information controls what are the possible uh, controls could be uh, when we say possible uh, it means those possible uh, actions can be allowed or denied on any of the um, on any of the uh, information repository so functions are read process store Actors are person, application, system or process. And controls are always on, uh, on the uh, possible uh, actions. And those possible actions can be allowed or denied. Some questions uh, on this domain. Um, who is the responsible for applying the proper security controls in this create phase of the data security lifecycle? So remember, uh, whoever is collecting the data uh, in the cloud, 
uh, it remains always responsible, liable, and is supposed to apply the security controls. So in this case, um, it is not the answer, data custodian not the answer, data owner is supposed to uh, apply the security controls. Who is not considered as an actor according to the CSA um, guidance? Person, device, system, process and application. So we just uh, discussed that uh, the actors can be person, application, system, or process. So device, because this may have uh, multiple processes inside, that is why it is not uh, fall in the category of, uh, um, of the actors. And that is the right answer. That is it. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe, like, comment or share. Thank you.